guys, it's Andy here today for Play with Andy. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to talk about some art activities to do. So with little ones, sometimes it's hard to think of things that they can do um, that are kind of arty or that'll fill a little time without being messy, like paint. Or even markers sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming when you have little ones. So I hung my project up high so that you could see it, but know if you have little ones, it's gonna be best to hang it kind of at their level, wherever, um, whatever height they're at. So what I, supplies I use today, I have contact paper, and I actually hung it sticky side out. Kind of, can you hear it sticky? <laughs> sticky side out, and I hung it up on a window. Um, I have scissors, masking tape, and then I also use brightly colored tissue paper, and I just cut a strip off the top, and then I cut that strip into little into little squares. Now, another fun way to extend this is you could actually give your child, young child, a big piece and have them tear it. Tearing is a great um, fine motor activity to practice bilateral hand movements, pulling away and pushing towards yourself, strengthening those pincer fingers as we tear. Surprisingly enough, tearing is actually a hard skill for some children. Okay, so I took my great colors to, of tissue paper and I cut them into little squares. See you? <laughs> so when you have this activity, you can use anything. You can use tissue paper, you can use paper towels, you could use leaves and flowers, you could use confetti, whatever you have around the house. So hung up my, my contact paper on the window. I like doing it on the window because then the light shines through. And then you just take little squares of your tissue. Mine are kind of stuck together. So again, if you're practicing those really fine motor skills, and then your child can just stick them on the paper. And they just stick up there, just like that. So, you can have your child make all kinds of beautiful art just by sticking the tissue on the window. And what's fun is you don't have to, you know, you can see that I'm just kind of glopping it on there and moving it around. And it sticks, it can be crumpled, it can be straight. So you can just bunch them up. So this is a really fun activity for little ones. Um, I really like doing this in the spring when there's flowers around and you can go outside and gather some flowers and then stick them on there. Um, but be creative. Think about what things that you could use to stick on this tissue paper. Um, again, you can practice that tearing. And once they tear, then they can stick it on. You can overlap and see what colors it makes. It's really fun. Um, I think this is a great way to do kind of a low mess activity. The other cool thing is you could just leave this up on your window. Again, have it down low at your child's height. Leave it up and you can kind of come and go back and forth to this activity. They might think it's fun for a few minutes and then maybe get bored of it. But maybe in an hour or two, they might want to come back to it. Or maybe they find something else fun to stick to it. So think about how you could use this activity with your little ones at your house. Or maybe in a classroom. I think a lot of my teacher friends have done this activity. Um, and it's a really fun display as well. So, you know, some of us are still really focused on social distancing and staying safe at home. And this would be a fun thing to have on the window. If grandparents come over and they're at your window, you could have something beautiful for them to look at. Well, friends, I hope that you try this activity. Please send me pictures if you do. You can find me at andy at dsagsl.org. And I can't wait to see you again next time for Play With Andy.